Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Caterpillar facility in Desford. It's been like my second home for a long time and I've come here over the last 15 years and seen what you see behind me develop and this is the backhoe loader and I'm joined by Richard who is actually the expert now for the backhoe loaders here at Desford. Richard we've been talking about these machines the one thing I'm really pleased to see is that Caterpillar is making these machines with options on them so you, it's like a kid in a candy store when we've been talking about all the different options that you can have on these machines and that you can add on even later with software updates you'll find out about that in a moment folks we're talking touchscreen now in the backhoe loader so Richard tell me a little bit about what of the machines we've got behind us and and what's it all about yeah thanks Peter so these brand new machines the latest in our range of Caterpillar backhoe loaders We've got the 432 and the 444 machines, and these are both fitted with electro-hydraulic seat-mounted controls. So that's a huge update for us. Our first backer loaders in Europe with seat-mounted controls. It brings with it a whole range of exciting new features we can bring to help the operator tune that machine to exactly how they need it to help them get the job done quicker than ever before. So what that means, folks, is actually I've had my friend with me here today, Nick Drew, and he's been operating this machine. And fundamentally, it's a whole change, isn't it, to the operator. You've got these joystick mounted controls. You're able to go into different positions to operate both the machine and uh, the front and back of the back hole loader. And also the, the operator is, is got a a lot more space although it's not a bigger cab is it tell me why yes yeah, so that cab is exactly the same as before but with having those controls on the seat we've not got a loader stack down here or the pilot pods behind us they're mounted on the seat so whether the operator's facing forwards backwards anywhere in between the controls are with them that frees up so much room on the floor we've put more storage in there it's more comfortable for the operator a lot more efficient so what we're talking about is 10 percent more efficient on fuel still the same big tank on this machine so you can actually do 10 percent more hours and more work actually with that but let's talk about the options and the exciting technology that's in here there's a touch screen for the first time inside a backhoe loader. Why? And what does it do? Yeah, exactly. So industry first touchscreen on a backhoe loader. There's a whole set of menus in there. Operator can go and tune the machine to how they want. So they can change the speed of the hydraulics, response of the joysticks, backhoe or excavator pattern on the back of the machine. There's many different languages in there. We're selling this across Europe. 20 or different countries, different languages, all of those languages are in the screen, making it as customizable for the operator as possible. And when we talk about customization, and this is really important, folks, customization is king here on the backo loader. When we're talking about this now, what we're looking at is the fact that people can come in, you've got optional security codes that people can put in, about 24 different people, if I'm right, they can put that information in, they can then optimize the machine for themselves. There's another option where you can go DAB radio where you've actually got people saying right I'm waiting on site to do some work let's make a few phone calls because that's the office isn't it for some people yeah. what are the other options that you've you've got on the machine you've got some more functionality style options as well haven't you yeah so we've introduced a power shift transmission now it's still a manual transmission operators have to turn but it's a lot more ergonomic they're not reaching down to the old manual transmission stalk it's there nice and easy twist they've got the option of a front coupler on the machine all machine Machines can be fitted with a front coupler. A huge range of work tools can come on these machines and the great thing about that as well is customers that had an F or an F2, those work tools they can still fit on this machine so they're not going to have to buy a whole range of brand new work tools. Um, they'll fit a new range of machines as well. You've made some slight changes as well around the configurations and how people can use that backhoe loader as well, haven't you? And how it protects itself as well with some of the grills and things like that. Tell me a bit about that because that was a customer feedback moment, wasn't it? Yeah, so the front end, we've redesigned that slightly, as you say, based on customer feedback. It used to be vertical. We've now put a little bit of rake on there, five degrees. So that counterweight sits proud now. So if a operator's truck loading, for example, that counterweight's gonna bump the truck first rather than the grill. So just giving a bit more protection. And we've also heard some feedback from customers saying that visibility's slightly better down to the front of the bucket with that change in design. 
And so it's baking hot here. We're not in Malaga. We're in Desford, <laughs> folks, at the Caterpillar facility in Desford. Feels like we're in Malaga. But it's really hot here. But obviously, operator comfort inside there. It's got an air suspension seat. And also, it's got air conditioning inside it. Different options there as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So as, as we said earlier, this is the office for some backer loader operators. They're in there 8, 10, 12 hours a day. So we want it to be as comfortable as possible. So aircon, it's an option. Um, I'd love to be in there right now. So would I. <laughs> <laughs> um, huge range of different seats. Um, so from a basic seat all the way up to a heated seat. So even in the middle of winter, we know across Europe, it can get extremely cold. Operators can choose that heated seat keep them nice and toasty in there, real comfortable place to operate for the day. And what we've also seen is because you've moved these joysticks, it actually makes the neck strain go away, doesn't it? It makes the lever lurch go away as well. Tell me a little bit about that because, you know, that's different, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So as you move from front to back or back to front, those joysticks move with you. So you can operate at an offset position now. So those days when you're working down in a trench, a ditch at the side, or you're truck loading, you can sit offset and really operate and look directly down at your attachment, your work tool, not having to strain that neck to, to get that view anymore. So it's a lot more comfortable for the operator. You were even saying that you can move backwards without even moving yourself on the seat, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So you've been trenching, you've reached the end, you need to reposition the machine. And with a flick of a button, you can now lift that loader. So you're still facing the excavator at the back. You can lift the loader bucket up, push that machine forward. You're not having to reach around to reach that loader lever anymore. You can reposition yourself nice and quick without having to spin the seat round or as you say, reach behind you. So real comfort, real efficiency. And we're talking about efficiency and everybody knows new machines have got to be more efficient. We are stage five, yeah. are we not with these machines? And we've got a smaller engine, but the same power. What's that all about? And this 10% I mentioned earlier, you know, again, you've said that people on field follow, they've actually noticed it themselves, the fuel. Yeah, definitely. So we've got the new Caterpillar C3.6 engine. It's a 3.6 litre engine. So you will notice it is slightly smaller uh, than the old engines, but technology has moved on so much in the last 5, 10, 15 years that we can still get the same power, the same torque out of that smaller engine, but it's going to save up to about 10% in fuel. We've noticed that during our own testing and even better, customers that had these units on field follow validation programmes, they've noticed it themselves as well. So they're getting the job done. They're saving money. That's money straight into their back pocket rather than being used in fuel. And I mean, these machines are not Ferraris, folks. <laughs> but the other bit of feedback we were talking about earlier, I loved it because the guys that have been field following these units says it's a little bit faster off the uh, off the floor, yeah. isn't it, Richard? So you can get up to speed and travelling, can't you? Yeah, definitely. So it's a little bit nippier. All of our field follow customers have said that acceleration is slightly better. So whilst that top speed remains the same, that acceleration is slightly better. So we're helping people get from A to B even quicker than before. So that, folks, is the new backhoe loader. There are other features that we've got to understand how you can add those on, and those include different lighting packs. So they've got your standard halogen lights that are now going to LED lights, even when operating. There's other features that if you don't have a security feature on the backhoe and you might buy one of these in the future, you can go to your dealer and they can plug it in through a software update, can't they, Richard? Definitely. And so there's lots and lots of different options here. And I think one of the really big things we've got to recognize is this machine is built here in Desford. It's a UK champion for Europe and you've got that factory that enables people to make those options through their dealers to then have that factory fitted and ready to go, haven't you, Rich? Exactly. So as we said, there's many different options on these machines. Customers can choose what they want. They can configure it further in the field if they need to. It's all about making an already versatile machine even more versatile for the customer and helping them do exactly what they need it to do. And it's also saying to customers, Richard, you want the basic model, we're not going to add things on that you're not going to use, are we? So actually, there is price point difference there for customers that are just doing some basic work and for those people that are really pushing it out there, using them every part of this machine, there's lots of different options and configurations. It's ready to go, folks. This machine is being made next door where we are right now, Richard, isn't it? 
yeah. and it's ready, it's in dealers. It's ready to go, we're launching it Richard, aren't we? Exactly, plenty of stock across all the dealers, so go get it. Thanks very much Richard, been a pleasure to meet you. Let's do the Alan Elmbo. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks everyone. <laughs>